Racing through the Pocono Mountains this summer. A raceway recap with Bree and Dee. Enjoying golf and good eats all in one place. Plus the recent upgrades and unique amenities waiting to be enjoyed at this scenic resort in the Poconos. How to maximize your stay at the big lake on land and on the water. Putting around, climbing and flying through Gorilla Grove this season. A look ahead at the Pocono County Fair season and serenaded by another amazing Poconos musician on Pocono Showcase. It's all on Pocono Mountains Magazine. Wow, what a way to kick off this month's show. We are in the middle of the excitement at NASCAR Weekend Pocono Raceway in the middle of the Tricky Triangle. I'm Deanna Fontanez. I'm Jim Hamill. And I'm Brianna Strunk. Sold out camping this weekend, a sold out Sunday race for the Great American Getaway 400 presented by Visit PA. Yeah, and we'll get to more about the Tricky Triangle and NASCAR Weekend with Dee and Bri in just a little bit on the show. But first, that Great American Getaway, part of that is outdoor adventures here in the Pocono Mountains, including Camelback Mountain Adventures, yes. where Dee hit up recently. Yeah. Check it out. Come take an adventure with me through the mountains, literally. Today I'm at Camelback Mountain Adventures. Let's go see what they have in store for me today. So I'm here with Kala, one of Camelback's adventurous enemies. Well, the fun thing about Kala is she's also interning with us at Pocono Television Network. So I thought, why not have her take me along and show me what you guys have to offer? So Kala, what are we doing today? Where are we starting? So today we're starting with the 4,000 foot zip line, our zip flyer. A couple fun facts about it. It's 180 feet in the air when you take off, which Ooh. is really cool. And it's one of the longest zip lines in Pennsylvania. Wow, I'm excited to try it. I've never done it before. Is there any tips that I need to know? Keep your feet up, okay. you know, wear, make sure you're wearing closed toed shoes. <laughs> yeah. um, make sure you have on a pair of safety goggles. Okay. That wind really whips at you and have fun. Have fun, that's have the biggest fun. thing. So should we go check it out? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Bye. Wow, Cal, that was so fun. That was a lot more like kind of relaxing than I expected. Right? They told me to do the arms out and I did it and I felt like I was so free. So, okay, we did the 4,000, now what's next? Let's try the 1,000. Ooh, okay, let's go. So Cal has been taking me around, kind of showing me what you guys have to offer. So why do people keep coming back? because there's always something fun to do here. Yeah. And there's so many options and it, it's a great fit for everybody. Yeah. You know, maybe if you want the biggest thrill, probably the 4,000 foot yeah. line. <laughs> if you want to just kind of kick back and relax, the mountain coaster, yeah. you can choose your own speed. So there's something for everybody, which makes it fun for all ages, all types of people. Anybody can find something awesome to do here at Mountain Adventures. And is this like a day thing? Do people have to stay over? How does that work? That's up to you. I mean, there is a lot to pack into one day. Yeah. So if, if you want to really, truly experience it all, <laughs> stay the night. Yeah. Um, our Hotel guests also get a discount on all of our mountain adventures. So Love sometimes, <laughs> of course. So sometimes it kind of makes sense. Stay yeah. the night and you know really get to experience everything that Camelback has to offer, especially here at Mountain Adventures. Thanks for a little pit stop. We're gonna go have some more fun. Absolutely. All right. Wow, this tour has been amazing. We took a little break to check out these views. This is Jason, one of the adventure attendants. Tell me a little bit about the trails and what people can expect when they come on these rides. Yeah, so the trails are all the ski slopes that people use in the okay. winter. Mm -hmm. And obviously we have these great views. We also have a lot of wildlife, a lot of deer, as yeah, you saw. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a yep. lot of deer out today and yep. it was so pretty to see. Yeah, there's a yep. lot to see, obviously. The terrain, Yeah. Yep. So what's your favorite part about riding these trails? Well, just to see like the looks on everyone's yeah. faces. Yeah. like. I get to do this every day and it's awesome, but for people that don't get to experience yeah. it all the time, it's a really good time. Like, I felt like an adrenaline rush. Yeah. It was like fun to kind of like hit the gas and go over all the rocks and boulders mm -hmm. and everything. It's pretty cool. But this view, I mean, yeah, you can't beat this view. So Kala, thank you so much for taking me around, kind of giving me a tour of what you get to do for work and for being our PTN intern. <laughs> I had such a blast. Everything was like really, really fun. Right? So I'm jealous that you get to do this for work. <laughs> <laughs> so if people want to check you guys out, what's the website again? Camelbackresort.com. And social media? Camelback Resort PA. So make sure you check out their website and their social media for all events coming up and to book your trip here. 
So I'm definitely coming back because I had such a blast today. Absolutely, you should. <laughs> I'm Deanna Fontanez for the Pocono Television Network. I'm Kala. See you next time. Hi everyone, it's Captain Jim here and we have some great options for you to spend your time on and off Lake Wall and Paw Pack here, including some boat rentals, places to stay, things to do. You're not going to want to miss this one. Coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. Randy are back in the fast lane. Come along for the ride. Coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. Pocono Mountains Magazine will be right back. But first, let's check out how the Poconos have been making the news lately. They would be like, oh, waterfall, the kids, and then they would turn around and then they would be like, oh, look at the turtles and look at the, you know, octopus. And Blue Ridge Cable's News 13 featured two new murals at the Ann Street Park in downtown Stroudsburg, a great place to stop and enjoy the beautiful waterfalls while exploring surrounding small shops and eateries. The colorful designs were brought to life by a local artist with Go Collaborative, a Stroudsburg-based organization. The truth of the matter is most people that are addicted to either heroin and fentanyl, they start with prescription pills. And look, we see this addiction taking over so many people's lives. And although they come from a variety of backgrounds and a variety of, of different people, they all start somewhere, that entryway, and often it's prescription pills. For the sixth year now, the PA Attorney General and Pocono Raceway have teamed up to take hundreds of pounds of prescription drugs during NASCAR weekend. AG Michelle Henry was there for race weekend, and so was the AG's office holding the only large-scale drug take-back program of its kind, with race fans playing a key role in that effort over the three days at the Tricky Triangle. Using areas to our advantage, you know, instead of sending productions overseas, but actually utilizing the landscape that we have here, I think is something that we can capitalize on. WBRE-TV helped announce the launch of the Pocono Mountain Sports Entertainment and Film Commission. The mission is to promote sports tourism, unique entertainment initiatives, and film production in the scenic Pocono Mountains. The Pocono's film office was also established to attract film and television productions to the area. High-profile projects, including one from the Discovery Channel, are already in the works. trying to get people to know how to watch PTN. This should be easy. Uh-huh. He thinks that streaming happens in nature. How do we sell PTN? Cable? Broadcast. Newspaper. Streaming? Streaming. Yeah. You can stream a vacation, but you can stream PTN to plan a great one. Find the PTN app everywhere that you are. Kalahari Resorts in the Pocono Mountains. It's a short drive away that has something for everyone to love. As the summer heats up, cool down at Pennsylvania's largest indoor water park resort. You'll always have something fun to do. Woo! Then completely unwind and recharge all under the same roof. Have a splash-tacular summer beyond cool at Kalahari Resorts in the Pocono Mountains. It's all part of Pennsylvania, the great American getaway. Hi everyone, it's Jim Hamill with Pocono Television Network and summertime in the Pocono Mountains is all about lake life. And here on Lake Wall and Paw Pack, there is so much happening all four seasons on the lake and off the lake. So we wanted to take you on a little bit of a tour of some of the opportunities that you can experience right here at Lake Wall and Paw Pack. A place to stay, a place to golf inside, a place to rent a boat, and a place to get a great beer and a meal. Come on along as we check out Lakeside Cabin, the Wake Zone, Pirates Cove Marina, and of course, one of my favorites on the Pocono Beverage Trail, Long Pawpack Brewing Company. 
All right, here we are, 16 of these lakeside cabins directly adjacent to Lake Wallen Paw Pack. Perfect location, and this is one of the larger models. So we have a tour guide here, Sarah, taking us through. Sarah, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming along. How are you doing? Doing great, thanks. And oh, that air conditioning hits you pretty good here on a sweltering summer day. Yes, all of our cabins are air conditioned, and then they're also heated. So if you want to come in the winter, this is the perfect place to get away. Fantastic, and you got the full kitchen on here, so you have a stove, oven, microwave, and a fridge. Yes. Yep. Yep. Perfect for cooking if you want to on vacation. Nice. And then a uh, bathroom, two beds, and then a loft. Yes. Yep. So bathroom with a tub, closing off the kids. And then down here, we have two queen size bedrooms. And then upstairs, two twin size beds. So upstairs where the kids can go, because then the parents can get the cushy queen beds down here. Yeah. And then over here, you got PTN on, which I love to see, and a place where people can kind of relax and chill after getting wiped out from the sun yep. all day out there on the water, right? Yeah, definitely. I've got my golf clubs now, and we just left the Lakeside Cabins directly across Route 507 here, but this is the wake zone, and it's got indoor golf and a tap room. Let's check it out inside. You're just in time to tee off at St. Andrews. Becky, thanks for having us here. Becky Ryman, owner of the Wake Zone here and Wall and Popback Brewing Company. The Wake Zone is such a special place, especially because these simulators are the real deal. And we're playing St. Andrews today, folks. So tell us about the Wake Zone while I tee off. So the Wake Zone uh, just reopens again, and we have a lot of fun activities here planned. Um, we've got our beautiful golf simulators that are PGA quality, along with a bunch of sports games. We added some new amusements to our tap room. We have some lovely games that you can play in there as well. Um, and we serve our world-class Small and Paul Pack Brewing Company beer right here too. I like the sound of that. Beer and golf. And you guys like to have events here too for people, right? Because there could be so much interest in being at the brewery down closer to Holly, but here you can kind of put some parties out here, whether it's birthday parties or family functions, right? Yes, the Wake Zone's a very popular venue for parties. We've had birthdays for eight-year-olds to 80-year-olds. We've had retirement parties, family reunions. There's really something for everyone here, which is great. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers. And we'll uh, finish up our round here at St. Andrews in a bit. Cheers. So from the wake zone to a place where you can really make some waves, we're just down Route 507 here at Pirates Cove Marina, and we might want to rent a boat here. So come on in. We're going to talk to Annie here with Buccaneer Boat Rentals at Pirates Cove Marina. Annie, what's in store for us if we wanted to head out on the water? So right now we have four boats sitting out on our dock that we can go down and take a look at, see what you can store for you. Sounds like a plan. Let's go check them out. <laughs> So, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the assist. This is pretty sweet, folks. Check this out. Nice pontoon boat, and this baby's for rent. Pretty much if you're staying at the lakeside cabins and you want to integrate that with your time at the Wake Zone or at Long Pop Brewing Company. Yes, there are boat clips available, and if you're staying for a week, you can have the boat for the entire week, right? Just 30 seconds out your door. All right, let's take this one for a spin, but We'll get down to the brewing company just down Route 6 from here in just a little bit. Wall and Pop Pack Brewing Company, but first, Wall and Pop Pack Lake that inspired <laughs> the brews. Yeah. All right, now we're at the flagship property for Wall and Pop Pack Brewing Company here. Brad, you're joining us here to tell us all about the exciting things that we can have to eat and drink here after a big day on the lake, or we're hitting inside at the golf simulators, or we're out there just relaxing at the lakeside cabins, right? All those activities require a little sustenance, and we've got a one-stop shop here with our award-winning beer and our fan favorite food. So on the flight, we have three of our core brands, our Paul Pack Cream Ale, our Holly Hefeweiz, and our Large Mouth Hazy IPA. We've got one of our one-off Belgian uh, quadruple ales. We've got uh, our Pineapple Smoke Show, and we've got our Wally the Older. I frequent this joint quite often, but tell us, People can also try the beer here, but they can see how it's made too, right? Yep. Yeah, right beyond those doors, uh, sign up for a tour. Uh, we get, you get back there, you get to uh, ask our brewers questions, they run you through the process. So where can people go to find out more about not just where they can get out on the lake with Pirates Cove, where they can rest and relax there at Lakeside Cabins, but also play some of the best golf courses in the world inside the simulator at Wake Zone. Where can they find out more about all you guys have to offer? You can check out all the individual social medias or you can go right to our website at walmopalpackbrewingco.com. Nice, man. Well, cheers to that. And I think we're gonna have a little bit of food and drink right now to wrap out this segment here on Pocono Mountain Magazine. It's Jim Hamill with the Pocono Television Network for everybody here with Walmart Pack Brewing Company. Cheers. Cheers. 
Hey everyone, it's Bree and Dee. We hope you enjoyed our first adventure together on the Delaware River, but this time we are one of the biggest events of the summer at Pocono Raceway, NASCAR Race Weekend. And it's another Sunday race with sold out crowds here for the Great American Getaway 400 presented by Visit PA. Saturday's race was sponsored by Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau, Explore the Pocono Mountains 225, and the PTN team had the honor of being the Grand Marshals and kicking off the race. Honor for Team yes. PTN. We wanted to give you a recap of the 2024 race weekend here at Pocono Raceway. Starting here in Fanfare. Yeah, yeah. So I'm here with the Seraphin family. So guys, tell me a little bit about your experience here today. So this is actually our first year here. We didn't know what to expect and it's way more than we could have ever expected. Lots of things for the kids, the family, even if you've never watched racing, you're automatically in it. The beautiful weather, the gorgeous Pocono area, NASCAR racing, and a fantastic family atmosphere. You couldn't ask for anything more. All right, boys, how about you guys? You having fun? Yeah, we're having so much fun here. And of course, we couldn't bring you to the Pocono Raceway without giving you the perspective of a NASCAR driver, what it's like to take on the Tricky Triangle, and also from a sponsor perspective, what it's like to have your business name and logo in front of millions of fans in the national spotlights. Brennan Poole, what is it like to be a NASCAR driver? Um, a lot of traveling, but uh, you just get to see a lot of the country, which is great. And then, um, yeah, I get to do what I love to do. So I'm very blessed and fortunate to have this opportunity to, to do what I love as a career. But it's just so much fun. You know, I love love driving the car and, of course, getting to go to so many cool places all over the country, be in the Pocono Mountains this weekend. It's beautiful. I love it. It's been a great track for me. I've, I've been to Victory Lane here. And what is it like as a president and CEO seeing your company name and logo for millions of fans out in the national spotlight? It's awesome, and in particular, you know, uh, we love uh, the racing audience. Um, you know, they're very passionate about what they do and what they love. We're very passionate about what we do, and we love what we do, um, and it's just such a fit. Tell me how you feel about watching generations of families come, like grandparents, parents, kids. I mean, like I said, I watch it with my dad and now I'm here. It's important to us. It's important to us to grow the sport and uh, a lot of the reason um, that we offer kids 12 and under for free, right? And let's make it easy to introduce the sports because, you know, look, I have two kids. They would rather sit home on their iPad. <laughs> so the fact that we can offer um, kind of an easy entry into something that's, uh, that's a little bit different because while what you see on TV for someone that's never been to an NASCAR race is absolutely what's happening here, right? There's more. There's a fanfare. We have Carnival. We have Veterans Village. We have live music. We have block parties in our infield. We have a dog park. So um, it's more than what you see on TV, but that's absolutely the uh, main star of the show to see the world's greatest stock car drivers. And among the crowd at Pocono Raceway, 100 kids from the Pocono family YMCA in Stroudsburg. On Monday before the race, they all learned that they were going to a NASCAR race here at the Pocono Raceway for free, no charge. They also got a goodie bag with items to be used this weekend, and it all culminates. Here they are at the Tricky Triangle this weekend, and the announcement just kept on coming. Yeah, so a lot of fun for the kids. The NASCAR Foundation holds 14 of these pediatric fun day festivals all across the country. The kids here today are having fun at our festival as well as they're going home with a brand new bicycle, bike helmet, and a $15,000 grant for the YMCA. And of course, we have to get the perspective of one of the kids who want a bike. This is nine-year-old Mariah Perry, a summer camper at the YMCA. Mariah, when you were told that you and all of your friends at the YMCA got a free bike, what were you thinking? I was excited that we could get a free bike. What are you gonna do with this bike? Do you have any plans? Um, ride it like up and down my street and like um, around to like my friend's house and stuff. So I'm here with Joe and Erica. So tell me what has you coming back every year to NASCAR Race Weekend? Well, look around. 
the view, the races, um, the engines go by. It's just so loud and we've got good friends. What makes you coming back to this spot every year? Because it is the best spot. It's higher and it's high enough. I have two spots and I know all the people. We've been coming here for 15 years. Hope you enjoyed that recap of 2024, but if you want to be a driver for yourself, Stock Car Racing Experience has the opportunity for you to drive one of these cars, and PTN has a car of their own. I took it for a ride once, and it was an amazing experience. From sold out camping to another sold out Sunday race here at the Pocono Raceway, it has been a great weekend yes. in the Pocono Mountains, and we hope you'll join us for 2025. Stay tuned for more details on PoconoRaceway.com. And thanks for joining us yeah. for another Brandy adventure here in the Pocono Mountains. We'll see you on the next one. Who knows where we'll be? Yeah. <laughs> Gorilla Grove at Kalahari is not just ropes courses, zip lines, and outdoor laser tag. It's also 36 holes of mini golf. We're going to putt around with some friends and family coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. Good food and family fun coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. This edition of Pocono Mountains Magazine is presented by St. Luke's Monroe Campus and East Stroudsburg University. It's the Pocono Mountains. We're in the fun business. With our fabulous water park resorts, when things are heating up, we're cooling you down. Our cutting edge attractions are just so much fun. Both indoors and out, you decide. Then completely unwind from that fun packed day. Three great water parks, all in one awesome place. The Pocono Mountains, it's in Pennsylvania, the great American getaway. For a fun night out, come to the mountains, the Pocono Mountains. <laughs>
I've been here all week <laughs> practicing for this live shot. Uh, but we're showing folks footage here of a recent shoot where we were here and some folks were having a blast out here. You could wake up, get some breakfast, you know, hit the water park, hit the arcade. Um, but then if you guys want to get outside and enjoy Gorilla Grove, it's just like a short walk or a short drive down from the main entrance to the park, right? Absolutely. And it's where you're looking for an adventure. So if you're looking to have that thrill-seeking moment, this is the place to be. Nice. So we've got a lot of uh, features here. The indoor water park inside, it's arguably the largest indoor water park in the United States, let alone like just the Northeast here. Right? Yeah. yeah. And we also have two easy rivers in there, an outdoor water park too, where we mimic all of our indoor slides as little kid slides too, so they can enjoy the fun just as much as the adults. And don't forget about the swimmable hot tub bars too. Right. One of my faves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine too, absolutely. But I'm Popper, you've got everything here too. No need so, to leave the resort. We have everything you need from dining to entertainment to activities to do with the family and then relaxation at the end of the day. So no need to leave. Yeah, you definitely have a spa <laughs> as well. I know that Deanna and friends have experienced that on yes. Pocono Mountains Magazine in the past. That's a lovely uh, also option. We did want to feature a little something here. You have a young man up here ready to show us yeah. what this is all about up here. What is this feature up here before he takes the plunge? This is one of our true blue elements located on our Gorilla Grove Treetop Adventure course. It is one of our harder elements. You have to work your way up to the top, but once you do, you have an amazing free fall. Brian, show him how it's done. Slowly releases you to the ground too in a controlled manner, and we have staff around at all times to help and work you through those fears. That is the key right here too, is being safe amongst the treetop courses, the ropes courses and everything else. There's a lot of logs and various obstacles that you gotta contend with here. So everybody's yeah. suited up and made sure that they can do this in a safe manner too. That's really important. Absolutely, the top tier safety. You can't do this without safety. You can't have fun without safety. So we've shown you all the things here at Gorilla Grove, but one last thing here with my son Cagney, Kala, our PTN intern, and Bella, a hole in one challenge here. I'll be taking anybody out to lunch who makes a hole in one, including myself. So there you have it, guys. We took on Gorilla Grove. We all had a great time. Thanks for joining us here on Pocono Mountains Magazine. We're Cagney, Calla, Bella, Jim Hamill, with Pocono Television Network. A one-stop shop with good food and family fun, Apple Valley Family Restaurant and Village is the place to come, and it's iconic in the town of Milford. Hey, Steve. Diana, how, how are, are you? you? Good to see you. So I'm here with Steve, part of Milford Hospitality Group. So Steve, what are we going to do today? Well, I have a club for you. Thank you. And even better yet, I have a oh. score card. Oh. oh. And you and I. Some friendly competition, are gonna I play see. going to play some mini golf at Apple Valley. Okay, so this is an addition that you guys added recent. Yeah, we just put this in uh, at the end of the spring, and this is actually our first season. Oh. Um, you can go first, by the okay, way. Okay, fine. Yeah. Ladies first. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that, my heart was listen, beating right there. Listen. Oh, uh, the <laughs> pressure's really on. in one. This addition here went into our goal of creating, a, did you see that, oh, by oh, the really? way? Yeah. Oh, okay. I could do that again if you'd All like. Right. Yeah. That's how we're playing today. I am the course pro, <laughs> so that kind of goes along with what I teach. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. There we go. This attraction uh, falls into a category of concepts that we were looking to com come up with, specifically within Apple Valley, which is part of our portfolio that is that caters to families. Yeah. And so one of our goals was to create affordable experiences for families, two or three kids. You know, it gets crazy expensive nowadays yes. to go anywhere, just to go somewhere to eat. So with $10, you can come play a round of golf, get a scoop of ice cream. Oh, As I love a parent, that. you can sit back and watch yes. your kids. They're, they're right within eye's distance of you. And there's a, li a liquor license here as well. So. Oh. Didn't think you could do it again. Ooh, oh wow, okay. You have some competition here. I know. <laughs> Deanna, I have to say I was pretty impressed with your golf Listen, game. Listen, I have some tricks up my sleeve sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. Should we go get that ice cream? Oh, let's go. All yeah. right, we're going to go try some. So, Steve, now we're here in the creamery. We're here to get my celebratory ice cream from playing mini golf good. Much deserved. Yeah, what are you going to get? I'm going to go with uh, butter pecan. I think I want to try the cookie dough. How long has the creamery been around? 
Creamery's been two years. This okay. is our second year with the Creamery. Nice, so the families are really enjoying these additions that you guys are adding. Oh yeah, pretty much all day you've seen a bunch of families coming yeah. and going. So now we got our ice cream, why don't we take a walk in the village? There's a couple things I wanted yeah, to show you. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so here we are in the village, and one of the best parts is obviously the grounds here. So, you know, kids can come, have a great time, and across the street, this butts up right next to the National Park Service, and there's great house. Oh, right in your backyard. And one of the best parts of it is, families get to go up there, and kids get to enjoy themselves. There's a free scavenger hunt, and they can come back here, play some mini golf, have a full day of fun. Oh, I love that. So let's make our way over to the restaurant. Let's do this in reverse. We had our dessert first. <laughs> Dessert before dinner, I like it. <laughs> so Steve, now we're here in the restaurant. Tell me a little bit about how this started, how the restaurant began, what's on the menu, and what people can expect. The restaurant started in 1966, wow. and it has always been a family-friendly restaurant. So we didn't really change too much. When we purchased the property in 2021, it was, it's not broke, don't fix yeah, it, like and it. we <laughs> kept it the way that everybody loves it. Um, a lot of the dishes have remained the same, um, except for this one in particular. Uh, this recipe is actually the chef's mother's recipe. I it think looks delicious. I think you're going to absolutely <laughs> love that. It's one of those places where we try to think of the guests first, and every single entree has a vegetarian version of it as well. Wow. So if people have never heard about you guys, the restaurant, or the village, where can they check you out? Uh, you can go to applevalleyrestaurant.com and okay. uh, also Apple Valley Restaurant is our handle for our social media pages as well. Okay. Um, and we have all of the events also for the village that are that are on there. Every single weekend we have family friendly events. Oh, I love that. So definitely check out their website, check out their social media platforms. This is Steve Rosado. I'm Deanna Fontanez for the Pocono Television Network. I think we're going to dig in now. Oh my goodness, that's so good. The perfect place to play and stay this summer. A variety of room options and some recent upgrades too. We'll give you a tour coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. Hear the sounds and story of this latest featured musician from the newest episode of Pocono Showcase. The Swiftwater, the name is classic Poconos. Upon arrival, you realize this is hospitality you've never experienced. The feeling of chic, rustic elegance surrounds you. High touch concierge service makes sure your stay is memorable. Enjoy crafted cocktails and savor rich flavors of the Poconos. Find out what everyone in the Pocono Mountains is talking about at the beautiful Swift Water. It's all part of visiting Pennsylvania, the great American getaway. In the Pocono Mountains, a new season is just around the corner. And no matter what the season, there's always something exciting happening. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. The Four Season Pocono Mountains. Visit us at PoconoMountains.com. It's Brianna Strunk with the Pocono Television Network. Whether you're looking for an experience that's rustic, modern, or something in between, we're at the perfect place to stay overnight in the Pocono Mountains with recently renovated units throughout. So let's head on land and go take a tour. Check out the amazing views here at Mountain Springs Lake Resort near Tannersville. And we're spending the day with the co-owner, Bill Rader. Thanks for having us. Hey, Brianna, thanks for coming. Yeah, we're so excited to be here. There's over 40 units on this property. We had to begin here at the lakeside cabin. I can really just imagine myself waking up in the morning with a cup of coffee, looking at these awesome views. Sure, you bet. So, you know, we have a couple of different styles here because we've been here since 1945. This is called a hemlock. And it's a two bedroom. Really the only thing that feels rustic is how it's constructed. In other words, it's like tongue and groove, knotty pine siding inside, but it's provisioned like a modern home. So everything you would hope to have in your house, it's there. Plus a fireplace, plus the lakefront view, 
plus the rowboat that comes with every accommodation. And we have about you know, 325 acres here, 76 acre lake, all private. We have two sandy beaches here, one on the east end of the lake, which is where we are now, and we have one on the west end of the lake as well. There's about a two mile hiking trail that goes all the way around the lake, crosses our the creeks that are here that feed the property and also let the water out of the lake. We also have the orchard. This is our, one of our event sites. This was actually created by our nephew, Ben Rader. So everything you see here, except for a couple of structural pieces of lumber, was actually harvested here, milled here, and, uh, and built here. We use it for corporate retreats, gatherings, family reunion gatherings, and also it's used quite often by our sister property, The Lodge, for after parties post-reception. And here we are at another option. This is the vintage log cabin behind us. And that's really like the true Pocono rustic experience, Bill. Absolutely. We have a couple of dozen of these vintage log homes sprinkled around the property. And uh, you know, this unit was built in the late 50s, for instance. So we, we keep them up, but people, if they really want that true experience, mountain experience, it's a great way to do it. What we started to do in the last year is create these campfire sites. And the cool thing is, Everything came from on site and uh, you know, our team builds them, they design them. We have a mill here where we lumber this stuff and then we, uh, we brand it with our Mountain Springs Lake Resort logo, put some finish on it so it feels nice and smooth. We see quite a few people really enjoying this experience uh, while they're here up in the mountains. So you use fallen down trees and repurpose them here for guests to enjoy. That's right. How cool is that? And now we're at my personal favorite kind of room here. Let's go check out what the luxury suite looks like. Well, hey, Brianna, how are you? Hey, Bill, thanks for having us. Oh, thank you, thanks for coming. Yeah, okay, so you have eight luxury suites, a modern option here at Mountain Springs Lake Resort. Tell us all about this style room. These are our most uh, recently built units. They were built in 2019, so they reflect the taste of what people uh, would look for in a luxury accommodation today. So king size beds, fireplaces, smart TVs, and then you know you have these awesome expanded bathrooms with soaking tubs and rain showers. We are eight minutes from Camelback within half an hour of six ski areas. We're within half an hour of close to a dozen wineries, microbreweries, plus we're 90 minutes from Philadelphia, 90 minutes from New York City, very close. And that really is the great thing about your property because you come here and it does feel like its own private oasis. You have the whole place to yourself, but then a short drive and you are close to so many other places. Super close. We're two miles from Route 80, but it is super quiet here. Matter of fact, one question we get quite frequently, even when we're full or close to full, people will ask us, are there any other people here? Because it's just a really quiet oasis. What is the history of this property? Uh, our family uh, bought the property in 1945. But prior to that, you'll see with most of the lakes up in the Poconos, the lakes here were built to harvest ice from. So there were actually you know, 11 massive ice houses here. They were right along the lake. So it is a pretty significant amount of history uh, when you think about it. Not only can you stay overnight, but you can also host your wedding or special event at sister property, the lodge at Mountain Springs Lake. We are here with Bill's sister, Robin. Robin, tell us all about this beautiful space. We host up to 200 guests here. We have a ceremony site outside in front of the pond, so that's just beautiful and private. And then we move to our cocktail area and our staff comes out with champagne, wine immediately after the ceremony. We do one wedding a day. We have a few private rooms. We have a very affectionately called the groom room upstairs for the gentlemen to have some time by themselves. And then we have a carriage house and that's for the brides. So we have a, a room for their dresses. We have two hair chairs and they can spend the whole day there. That's included in their ceremony package. You don't even have to leave the property. If your wedding party is coming from far away, you can actually stay here on site. Yes. Yes, it's perfect for that. And I remember having my prom here back in the day, so I personally know how gorgeous this spot is to have an event. It is, and it's a perfect spot for winter weddings. So you can imagine looking out these windows in the winter when it's a little darker in the afternoon with the snow coming down. It couldn't be prettier. Wrapping things up here at Mountain Springs Lake Resort, you can take in these gorgeous views anytime over on PoconoMountains.com slash live cameras and visit MSLResort.com to start planning your stay here. And midweek is a great time to visit. I think it's one of the best times to visit because you have all the amenities, none of the crowds, and depending on the time of year, it's 30 to 50% off. It is a great value. Thanks for having us today. Hey, thank you, Brianna. I'm Brianna Strunk with the Pocono Television Network, and we hope to see you soon here too. 
Still to come on Pocono Mountains Magazine, a quick rundown of the county fairs happening and some of the festivals you want to check out this August all across the Pocono Mountains. We'll be right back. At East Stroudsburg University, you will study with cutting edge technology. You can perform in the classroom, field, or stage. You'll get involved on campus and off. You can have fun preparing for your future. Do you remember we told everybody about midweek deals? Yes, but didn't everyone tell you? So what did we say? Easy travel. Less traveling time, more fun time. Less people Monday through Friday. And all this at a great price. And easy to book. Not bad. I'm glad I thought of midweek deals. Our guests just love it. We came up with midweek deals because we knew that your wallet needed a vacation too. Check out PoconoMountains.com slash offers. Now you've got the Poconos in the palm of your hand. For places to stay and shop. And stories about the Pocono Mountains. Go to PoconoTelevision.com to download the app and get the information you need for your visit with us. Hi everyone, it's Jim Hamill, and August in the Poconos is prime time for fairs and festivals. The whole month is full of county fairs all across the four counties, including starting here in Honesdale, Wayne County for the Wayne County Fair, now in its 162nd year. It's the most fun you'll have all year. It's the 162nd Wayne County Fair. August 2nd through 10th, nine days of fun for everyone. There's 26 ride attractions and an awesome kitty land with even more action. $12 is all you pay to ride the rides all day. See animals, exhibits, and daily music too. There's truck pulls, magic shows, racing pigs, and dinosaurs to boot. Pay one price, only $12. Nice. August 2nd to 10th, the Wayne County County Fair, Honesdale, PA. Visit WayneCountyFair.com today. Running the same week, the Carbon County Fair in Palmerton also has a big focus on agriculture, food, rides, and entertainment. The 25th anniversary of the Carbon County Fair, August 5th to August 10th. Loaded with activities galore, live music, an array of vendors, monster truck rides daily, contests, special events, and more. The 25th anniversary of the Carbon County Fair filled with festivities and fun for the whole family, August 5th to August 10th. Be there! Later in August, starting the 18th, the West End Fair kicks off for a week of fun now in its 102nd year. Get ready for an unforgettable experience at the West End Fair from August 18th to the 24th. Join us at the West End Fairgrounds for a week packed with family fun and excitement. All ages are welcome to enjoy a wide variety of fun rides, challenging games, and fantastic live music. Meet adorable animals up close, indulge in delicious food, and enjoy top-notch entertainment that will keep you coming back for more. Visit www.thewestendfair.com for more details and plan your visit today. We can't wait to see you there. And capping off fair season in the Poconos, the Green Drear Sterling Fair in Newfoundland, leading up to Labor Day weekend. Come on out to the Green Drear Sterling Fair in Newfoundland, August 23rd to September 1st. Catch the exhibits, ride all the rides, fill up on good food and enjoy all the entertainment from live bands to demo derbies and truck pulls. Pay one price, 10 bucks for weekends, eight for weekdays. Head to gdsfair.org, flourishing with opportunity, rooted in agriculture. Make sure you check out all the fairs on PTN Live. Head to PoconoTelevision.com to find out when we'll be live at each of those county fairs. Also on tap in August, Wally Lake Fest, August 23rd to the 25th. Head to WallyLakeFest.com for more. And Stroud Fest soon after over Labor Day weekend in Stroudsburg. Head to ShermanTheater.com for more there. And always remember to find out about all the events happening throughout the Poconos at PoconoMountains.com slash events. This has been Jim Hamill with the Pocono Television Network. Hi, I'm Gary C. here with the great Elizabeth Gillen, and we're getting ready for another episode of the Pocono Showcase from the beautiful, historic Sherman Theater in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. I hope you can join us for this next episode. At St. Luke's Orthopedic Care, you can trust us with your hands, feet, 
shoulders, hips, and knees. Because healthy bones and joints mean you can do more. You can trust us to recommend the right approach to care, including joint sparing treatments and therapies. And when surgery is the only choice, we offer options to help you heal faster, including technology-assisted joint replacements and muscle sparing hip surgery. St. Luke's, the orthopedic care you trust, now more than ever. Hi, I'm Gary C. from POCO 103 Radio. I host a TV show here called the Pocono Showcase, which showcases local talents in the Pocono area. Here's a sneak peek at Elizabeth Gillen. You sit playing with my wind-blown hair and I'm falling asleep on your lap. You say I'll never get up again. I'll never get up again I'm just thinking about a long way off When I you visiting of the past I think I'll never be sad again I'll never be sad again And I don't want to think about If the days will darken no, I just want to hold hands in the supermarket And you can't promise that you won't leave me broken hearted So let me hold your hand in the supermarket I know everything about you now Though you keep it all close to the chest You're golden, yeah You're golden And I see us under umbrellas It'll pour and we'll smile the same We'll never be bored again We'll never be bored think about if the days will darken no I just want to hold hands in the supermarket and you can't promise that you won't leave me broken hearted so let me hold your hand in the supermarket Elizabeth, where are you from? I'm from Kunkeltown. Did you grow up in the Poconos? Yeah, I did. Yeah, all the way up through high school, went away to college, and um, came back. You've got some great songs. Do you write songs on guitar or keyboard, or both? I've done both. Started off on keyboard, and then once I learned more guitar, got into that a bit more. You've got that great song called London. Now, did you go to London, and was that the inspiration for the song? Yeah, I did. So I studied abroad in London in college. So I was there for six months, and I wrote the song uh, a while after I was back, kind of reflecting on the place and, and the person I had met there and trying to grap grapple with the, the way the me memories are kind of intertwined. 
I love the song you have called Supermarket. You want to be seen holding the hand of the one you love in a very bright supermarket. Do I have that right? Yeah. Yeah, though, I also like to think of it as um, it's sadder than it, than it sounds because um, it's kind of a retrospective on a relationship that became so complicated and, and sad that I found myself wishing for the simple things, you know, just holding someone's hand in the supermarket. So it's a, it's a nice wish that I felt like I was, you know, missing at the time. How about the one about the couple driving down the interstate? What, how did you come up with that? Yeah, Alan and Lisa is inspired by uh, graffiti that I saw on the turnpike. Yeah, I used to spend a lot more time on the turnpike, and I was driving once, and I saw uh, the words Alan plus Lisa written on the wall in a heart. So I wrote it down, and I wrote them a little backstory because I was inspired just by the... It's just an interesting combination of names. So I wrote them a fictional backstory. They're a troubled couple, you know, had to get married. They're, they have a baby on the way, so... Yeah, that's how that one came about. Alan and Lisa Passing through Pennsylvania his eyes like gross buds, hers are long shut. Last week they fell out, out of love for a minute. Tonight their car reads, just married. But the moon's getting high now. And his eyes are giving in Do you think that we could stop For a minute, my dear And it hit like a comet And her eyes are flooded now If we stop this car, this love, this war For a minute, then it's done my darling Lisa, he began as he pulled out. You know I love you. They're on the turnpike with the paint from the car sign. He wrote on the stone wall. Another great musician in the Pocono Mountains. And to watch that full episode of Pocono Showcase, head over to PoconoTelevision.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, behind us here, Victory Lane at the Great American Getaway 400 at the Tricky Triangle. Ryan Blaney, congrats to him, congrats to the track. And we're really excited to have you back for the next month's show here on Pocono Television Network. And don't forget to come back to the race with us next year for 2025, but we'll see you next month with more adventures.
the Swiftwater. The name is classic Poconos. Enjoy crafted cocktails and savor rich flavors of the Poconos. The beautiful Swiftwater. It's all part of visiting Pennsylvania, the great American getaway.